Welcome to send me. 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 Send Me Promotion is a promotional ministry promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ from various Christian ministries all over the world. Proverbs 18 verse 16, a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. We are commissioned by Mark 16 verse 15. He said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. We promote talents from the body of Christ that will promote godly living. Send me, 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 send me. God bless you, everybody. We greeting you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This morning we're going to look at Proverbs chapter three. By the way, this time we call it inspirational time. So you can give us your time so that you can listen to the word of God. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 1. It says, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandment. Verse 2. For length of days and long life and peace shall they three and four let not mercy and truth forsake thee bind them about thy neck write them upon the table of thy heart so shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man verse 5 trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding let's pray father we thank you this morning because of your word we thank you because of the reading of your word we know that your word giveth life it is by your word that the world is created and established father this morning open our eyes in the mystery of your word that we may be able to understand this word that you are speaking to us from your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, it is very, very unfortunate that most people try to prevail and try to prosper without the word of God. In the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible mentioned to us about good success. So which means we have good success and we have bad success. So the good success is the success and the prosperity that comes from the Lord. And the only way to get to this point or to this realm of prosperity and the type of prosperity I'm talking about is keeping the law of God is keeping the commandments of God so that we can get ourselves into good success and also attract the longevity of life now you may wonder why is it that men die so quickly they live a short life today because there is no law of God abiding in their heart. They are not ready to keep it. Some of us we know it, but we are not ready to maintain the principles of God which says 
in the book of Deuteronomy. You know, you're going to edit this thing. In the book of Deuteronomy, Twenty-eight. We're just going to look at some of it, and I'm going to read from verse one. In this book, the Lord also mentioned to us the way to live, so that we can travel and prosper and live in what I call the good success. Verse 1 said, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of of thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and thy flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket of thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies to rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee and the storehouse, and in that thou settest thy hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God give thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself. And he had sworn unto thee, If thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. Praise the Lord. Now we can see from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 that the Lord also is telling us about the things the good wills that is attached to this keeping of commandment keeping his commands not haphazardly keeping all and that is when the full blessings shall come upon thee so Many people are moving around today doing some businesses that are not legal, doing some things that are not worthy of God. Yet, they go to church. Yet, they stand in His presence to shout hallelujah. I wish God was man. Sometimes, when we are shouting that hallelujah, tell you to shut up because you are not worthy of his presence because we are saying something else and we are doing something else so if we can give our heart totally today give our heart so that our faith may stand in the Lord Jesus our faith will not be shakable when we stand, no matter the condition that you find yourself in today, I know that tomorrow will be better. Why? Because your faith is in the Lord. He that put his trust in the Lord shall never be ashamed. According to the book of Psalms, you will never be ashamed when your trust is fully in God. But if you trust your wealth, if you trust your schemes, if you trust your skills, of craftiness then you will surely be ashamed one day you will find yourself in a shameful condition but those 
who put their trust totally. As we read the Bible, if we go through the verses of the Bible, there is no man who put his trust in the Lord that was ashamed. The Bible says, Enoch walked with God. He has a testimony that he walked with God until he was no more. Abraham, the father of faith, had faith in God and it was counted unto him as righteousness. The Lord said, I will bless you and you will have many sons. He said, look on the stars of heaven. That is how your sons are going to be. They are uncountable. Even though at that time he has only, he has no son. At his old age, God gave him only one son. Telling him that you are going to be father of all nations. You are going to be your sons are going to be many, like stars of heaven. But today, what is happening today? Because the Lord God Almighty, who is able to keep the promises even to a dead man, kept his promises to Abraham. So Jesus said, When I come into the world when I come again will I find faith am I going to find faith is it possible that I find faith when I return people of God I wish you can come back to faith the real faith that is unshakable the real faith that keeps the commandment of God unconditionally because sometimes we want to serve God with conditions if things are going well then we continue to serve God but when it goes the other way you find your way so today you can make up your mind that I will serve God no matter what I will keep his commandment God is not a God that watches your mistake you may have made mistakes in the past but today is still another day. You can return today and say, God, I'm, I repent and I'm coming back to you with full, with my whole heart. I'm coming back to you. And you will see the Lord God Almighty showing himself mighty on your behalf. And we pray. Father, we thank you for your word today. We give you glory and praise. We thank you because you are going to enter into our hearts. Father, as we give you our hearts, you are going to give us yours. He said, oh, let this mind be in you, the mind that was in Christ. Father, we depend on you for this mind so that we can have a sound mind. We can make a sound decisions. We can move and travail and prevail and prosper and also hold our hands in that promise that is long life, O oh God. Father, we thank you because as many that are coming to you today, you are going to anoint them. You are going to touch their heart. You are going to touch and extend your powerful hand, Father, into their lives. That they will be able to worship you in truth and in the spirit. Father, we thank you. Is there anyone that have backslidden? Is there anyone that is finding it difficult to obey you? We ask for your strength and ability, your grace, O oh God, to be upon such soul that that soul will repent and come back with the whole heart, come back wholeheartedly to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you this morning. I thank you for listening. This morning, this message is coming from you is coming to you from sendme.com.org it's coming to you from also the redeemed pilgrims ministry UK we thank you you can find our number on our website sendme.org Yo, the Bible said, Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man.
Whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judges doest the same thing. Preach it like a realist. Do a judge if you don't wanna be judged. Do a judge if you don't wanna be judged. Do a judge if you don't wanna be judged. Jesus Christ, He made the only judge. Do a judge if you don't wanna be judged. Do a judge if you don't wanna be judged. Do a judge if you don't wanna be judged. Jesus Christ, He made the only judge. Judging people. Me not can do one. It hurt worse than a broken bone. Turn people off just like a cell phone. Let them wonder why the church hasn't grown. Ma, Ma you, we hope you are torn. God not pleased with this on the throne. The adulteries, people watch it a stone. God said, who never seen go cast the first stone. Said you know what different. The same thing apply. If you see you never seen, me know you lie. We not perfect, but still we try. So please God. Till the day we die If you don't stop No people will leave church Cause people Not like to get hurt And if you discourage them That mean you're doing Satan's work Do a judge If you don't wanna be judged Do a judge If you don't wanna be judged Do a judge If you don't wanna be judged Jesus Christ He made the only judge Do a judge If you don't wanna be judged Do a judge If you don't wanna be judged Do a judge If you don't wanna be judged Jesus Christ He made the only judge Yo The Bible said Do a judge The, the, the Bible said Do a judge the Bible said, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge. For wherein thou judges another, thou condemnest thyself. Don't judge, if you don't wanna be judged. Jesus Christ, he made the only judge. Yes, no man righteous. No, not one. We born in a sin, yes, everyone. Till the day we go to heaven, the struggles in the flesh now gone. Yeah, you said do, the same things too. Tell them how God help you get through. Pray that God help them Cause you don't know what them going through Listen to the lyrics of the song Me know you not like what them do the wrong But life and death in the power of the tongue Careful what you say you might bring them down You must help don't wound your brother Yet and not try consume your brother Yo, no man perfect So judging ain't worth it
You're listening to Pastor Chidi Okori. Amen. Welcome to Sentiment. Welcome to Send Me. Send Me Promotion is a promotional ministry promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ from various Christian ministries all over the world. Proverbs 18 verse 16. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. We are commissioned by Mark 16 verse 15. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. We promote talents from the body of Christ that will promote godly living. Send me, 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 send me. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory and praise for giving us an opportunity once again to declare your counsel. Father, we ask as we speak according to the words that you have given to us, that the ears of our hearers will be anointed, that their mind will gain understanding as we speak. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now today we're going to look at the second Kings chapter 2 and I'm going to read from verse 19 to 22. And the men of the city said unto Elijah, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant as my Lord see it, but the water is not and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise and put salt therein and they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in it, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall be no, there shall be not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the water were healed unto this day. According to the saying of Elijah, which he spake. Now, today my topic is the new cruise. We're going to look at Elijah's life and Elisha. Elisha was a servant of Elijah, a man who was highly anointed as a prophet and a point came when he arrived at this particular city called Jordan the men were so frustrated and depressed because of what is happening in the city the Bible said they spoke to Elijah and they pleaded with him. They say this water is not good. Neither the land, because the land was barren. But the situation of that city was pleasant. The city was placed in a very good state. But the water and the land was not good and that is exactly what is happening in the lives of many today your situation where you are placed in the city where you are you will have opportunities you were placed in a very good city but the land and the water is barren to you they are not productive to you you sometimes regret being in that city you wonder 
how you are going to survive in this city when every other person is rejoicing and saying oh we thank god because we're in this city now today is your time because god is about to visit you god is about to visit you he's sending his word he's sending his prophet on your way so that the situation of your life and the things that is happening will correspond where you are placed and the environment and everything that is happening around will respond to you will be positive to you in the name of jesus now maybe you have a very good qualification you have your certificate well placed you have gone to school you have accomplished many professions yet your situation is bad yet the land is not responding to you positively yet the water meaning the ingredients of life the thing that the life produces in that city is not responding to you today there is a prophet that is speaking to your life declaring that that situation will respond to your life the situation will respond to your life the situation will begin to correspond with your life in the name of jesus christ i decree that the power of god will meet you wherever you are and make you make the city and the water and the ground pleasant to you today is a remarkable day in your life and you need to trust and believe this word of god that is coming to you today that every situation that has undermined you every situation that have been counteracting and disputing the goodness of god in your life will be totally destroyed out of your way so that the situation and the ingredients of life will respond to you positively in the name of jesus christ now the people were crying asking elisha to do something and elisha said in verse 20 bring me a new cruise and put salt therein and they brought it to him bring me a new cruise what your situation requires is not an old personality it's not it's not an old personality things that has been done with things that i call the old man's fashion what the devil has placed in your life your old ways your ways that is not pleasant to god those ways need to go elisha said bring me a new cruise get me a new cruise and put salt in it which means you need a new life that is filled up with the word of god you need a new life you need a new life that is being pioneered that is being governed by the word of god you need a new life that is what you need so that the situation and the ground and the water will correspond they will respond to you positively you need a new cruise and salt in it some people end up with new cruise but there is no salt in it you end up with your life in christ but there is no ingredients there is nothing to show it there is no word of god in your life you need the holy spirit and you need the word of god 
both of them need to come in agreement so that your life will take a new turn your life will correspond to this what elijah called a new cruise without this you might be wanting you might be seeing things not going accurately as it's supposed to elijah said bring me a new cruise because the situation of the city is pleasant people are glad they see you and they think that something is going on that your life is at the peak that you are enjoying your life but that is not true because the ground is not responding to you the ground of where you are is not responding to you the ground is 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 negative is negative to your situation and the water which means the ingredients of life is negative to your situation today i command that those situations will live your life and the new cruise and the salt in it will take over in the name of jesus and i'm going to explain more on that new cruise the new cruise is talking about the anointing of god huh. the bible says the anointing breaks the yoke the anointing the anointing of god according to the book of isaiah chapter 11 from verse 2 when you read this when you read this passage you will understand that there are seven spirits of god i call it the seven levels of anointing elijah said bring me this new cruise and that is exactly what you need in your life you need this anointing to break the yoke of every satanic inspiration of every satanic indulgement in your life you need these seven spirits of god to crush them you need the anointing of god the seven spirits of god that is what you need oh the bible said the anointing breaks the yoke the anointing is not by might nor by power but by the spirit of god when the spirit of god comes the anointing will destroy every yoke in your life we need to look at it properly in that book of isaiah chapter 11 and verse 2 the bible mentioned the seven spirits of god from verse 2 he said and the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him he's talking about jesus the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom you need this wisdom to operate in this new cruise you need the spirit of wisdom you need wisdom number two he said understanding you need understanding to actually break every ground to till the ground of your life so that this ground will begin to respond positively to you you need the same understanding to mix in the water ha. jesus said drink of me the water of life he said when you drink this water you shall not go thirsty anymore drink drink he needs understanding to mix with this water of life you need wisdom to mix with this water of life you need counsel you need counsel and you need might and you need knowledge and you need the fear of god you need you need the respect for god you need to love god with respect you need to respect him 
you need to fear him you need to understand you need wisdom you need counsel you need might it means that if you are lazy you cannot eat the goodness of the land the ground will not respond to you positively you need might every lazy folk ends up in poverty you need might for this ground for this water to correspond with the situation of the city the bible said the city's position was pleasant everybody loved that city because of the position of the city but when they entered the city the city was poisonous because the ground was poisonous and the water was poisonous they cried unto the prophet and the prophet responded by the word of god he said thus said the lord the water is healed and the ground is healed and today I'm commanding your situation. I'm commanding your situation to respond to the seven spirits, the anointing of the living God, so that all your situations will correspond with your status. Oh, you are a Christian and you have been seeing things so rough. You are not seeing things the way it's supposed to come. You are not receiving the full blessings of God. You are not receiving the full healing power of God. You are not receiving the full benefits of being a Christian. Oh, today I am commanding that the power of God will visit your family, will visit your life, will visit you in a very spectacular way, will visit you as that salt touch the cruise and the cruise touch the water and the land they receive healing today you are going to receive a different healing from a different dimension i don't care what is happening in your life today is your day only if you will dip into this new cruise maybe you are in a situation that you have been sick for many days you have been sick for many years you have been sick for many months today is your healing galore ha. the healing of god is coming on your way as you listen to this message you will be touched by the healing power of god you will be touched and every cancer Every leukemia, every sickness, every fever, every flu, every malaria, anything that is called sickness will be healed as you listen to this word of God. That power of healing will hit. Welcome to send me. You, wherever you are, and you're going to receive healing right now as I speak by the power of God. Thus say ye the Lord, be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing power. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. HIV, heart failure, heart disease, cancer of the lungs, cancer of the liver, cancer of the prostate, wherever it is, you receive your healing right now that the power of god will heal you as you listen to this word in the name of jesus christ be healed elijah said elisha said bring me the new salt the new cruise and he dipped salt into it as you listen to this word of god healing is your portion in the name of jesus christ in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Welcome to Send Me.
Welcome to Send Me. Send Me Promotion is a promotional ministry promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ from various Christian ministries all over the world. Proverbs 18 verse 16. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. We are commissioned by Mark 16 verse 15. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. We promote talents from the body of Christ that will promote godly living. Send me, 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 send me. Welcome to 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 send me.